Hi everyone, welcome General to another of Gasbeard's battles in World of Warships. On a Wednesday, of course. And here we are in the tier 6 Japanese battleship Fuso. And we're in a battle with a couple of tier 7s, uh, two nice nows, one on each side. Apart from that, I'm top tier. That's always good news for me. But it's the troublesome Twin Brothers map, and as experienced players will know, either the east or the west side is where the bulk of each fleet tends to go. So I'm just holding back a little bit to see what's going to go on. From the off, most of our fleet has decided to head off to the east, and... This is not looking good for the west side, where we've got a couple of destroyers and a low-tier cruiser. Should I join the fleet and go on the lemming train? Or just wait around and defend the cap? Well, at this point I'm still completely undecided, because I'm not at all sure what the enemy's up to. I'm just busy capping the the zone at our spawn point and looking at what's going on before I make the move. The Fuso of course as a tier 6 is one of the fastest battleships in the game. Um, she's slower than the tier 7s and higher but at tier 6 she's just about the fastest that there is in the game. And yeah their destroyers are getting a bit aggressive so I throw out some supporting fire to our ships that are over there and in the distance there's a battleship coming round that side but we're not yet convinced what's happening with the bulk of their fleet. However, we have got enough ships that have gone over to the east that they can do without me even though the enemy fleet has got a one battleship advantage. Their additional battleship is a tier 5, a Congo which is the predecessor to the Fuso and he's not really going to make a huge difference to this battle um, unless we lose all of our destroyers earlier on because the Congo, like the Fuso, can be seen from a huge different distance. He can be spotted very early. So, at this point I'm starting to make my mind up there's an enemy ship pushing through the centre channel. There's a battleship, a cruiser and a destroyer minimum in the west. Where we only have two destroyers and a cruiser. They're going to need my help. So I'm going to go over and help them. And one of the other things that I'm considering at this point is that we do have a, a one destroyer advantage. Which slightly offsets the... Uh, one battleship disadvantage and if one of their destroyers is over here in the west at least one of their destroyers then we've got two destroyers versus two in the east which is good news and that cruiser that was cutting back across from the west to the east through the, our spawn cap has spotted that ship coming up the center channel and is going to do something about him at the very least he'll slow him down, which should give me time to take a, um, a bit of an advantage of my weight over on this western side. So we've lost sight of their destroyer. Can I reach that battleship? That looks like the Congo. He's just out of range. And... My spot aircraft is on cooldown. So we don't know where their destroyer on this side is, but there's some torpedoes. We don't know where their cruiser is, because he's gone unspotted, and so has the battleship. So let's just stop engines for a moment and think about what's going to happen over here. We know that that battleship was going on a wide flank around the white line on the extreme western edge of the map. Still not sure what the cruiser was that was spotted, but a big fat target like the Fuso is what the 
uh, mid-tier cruisers feast on. Usually with HE spam starting fires, so uh, there we are, it's a Cleveland. Right, well I want to get rid of him. Right now he's a bigger threat than that Congo that's running around the western edge. So, over the stern, we start backing up behind this island and trying to make use of it. Here comes the HE spam. to get away with just one fire from that salvo, but this next one might be a bit different. No, managed to duck that one, and now he's got my speed and direction. This one's coming straight in midships, and wallop, the pagoda's on fire. The bow fire was reinforced, but I don't want to use the repair party just yet. I've still got just about full health. What I need to do is get that Cleveland located and get rid of him. Still only two fires going, but you can see my health is withering down quite quickly. Any second now could be the time to pop that repair party. I got a shot, yes, I've got a shot at that battleship coming through. So let's just see if I can make him pause. Throw a, a full broadside out at him. I'm going forward again to try and throw the Cleveland's aim off. He's expecting me to keep reversing, and that was a lovely hit there on that Congo. That was about 11,000 damage to him. No Citadel though, just penetrations. I might be able to get another one off against him. Due to reload in about one second's time. There we go, Terence reload his shots out. Time to think about my own safety now, rather than damaging that guy. We'll get the Enemy uh, severely damaged. damage repair party up and running. Recover some of that health that we've lost. I need help. There's the Cleveland. He's come out. He's shown himself. This is what I needed. I need to be able to get a full broadside at him. So we'll be reloaded in a couple of seconds. It'll be time to swing around, bring all the guns to bear. Astern. And start punishing him, and he's almost showing me his broadside. Astern. Slightly angled. And our little tier 5 destroyers, uh, cruiser, sorry, is doing a good job suppressing him a bit. <sighs> Can you believe that? Good bunch of shells into the side of a Cleveland, and I only do about 2,000 damage. In any other ship, that would have been at least two citadels, and he would have been either sunk or on the point of sinking. Still, there's only three turrets, the other three turrets are ready. Get them away. We knocked one of his guns out, which is always good news, but again, two over penetrations, not a citadel. three turrets round and give him a punish. As he is now definitely broadside on and there's another fire. The ship is on fire. This time at the other end of the ship to the first two. And that Congo's still taking pot shots at me. Less worried about him than I am about the cruiser. Enemy cruiser destroyed. And that was a good solid wallop and sunk the Cleveland. Right, good. But there's a smoke screen popped up, so now we know roughly where their destroyer is. I haven't got a shot on the destroyer, unfortunately, but I have got a shot on the Congo. He's still firing the odd shell at me. He's, uh, he's obviously more or less in, judging by the, the rate of fire that's coming in. He's not getting all his turrets to bear simultaneously. I did. So we'll push that out. If we can get some decent tap. Oh, yes. A citadel. Damaged. Great. 21,500 damage. Pushed him right down to about 20% of health left. That should make him run away for a bit. And now I can get myself repositioned and start punishing him properly. It's about this time that I realise the 
map circle that I've been defending is starting to get capped, and I can't see a ship on the minimap, which means it's another destroyer. So, just want to make that Congo run away for a bit. He's much less of a threat to me than a destroyer in proximity of my port side would be. Torpedoes, dead ahead. So while he's running, yep, and there's torpedoes coming in from torpedoes port. To port. Torpedoes, direct so, just get that Congo to run away a bit further, and then we'll turn around and we'll deal with that destroyer. Close proximity destroyers are a much bigger threat than a long-range uh, battleship. Because these big old the mid-tier battleships, although they are manoeuvrable, they're also very, very vulnerable targets. So there he is. Zoom in. Yeah, we can just about get a decent shot on him. Only two targets to bear, though. Uh, two turrets to bear. And that was a lovely wallop. And it looks like... I didn't get the kill, but it looks like my four shells there were followed up by something from that cruiser that's coming in from the east side. So that's... that cap point has been... Um, saved, shall we say, and I'll now just cap it, and then I'm going after that Congo. Problem there he solved, is, sir. conveniently and helpfully. He's just popped up to show me that he's still over there, almost due west of me, and he's still very, very low health, which is good news. He hasn't started repairing yet. So turning towards him, give him the narrowest possible target, and with a friendly cruiser now in this cap circle as well, I can shovel the coal on the boilers and get myself across there after him. We've recovered that cap, it's great news, I don't have to worry about that for a wee while, and that friendly cruiser's going down the centre channel to make sure nobody else is trying to sneak up there. Good move by him. And it's time to, to get this Congo out of the picture. And you'll notice, I'm weaving left and right here. I want to throw off any shots that he's firing, whilst at the same time maintaining contact with him as I close the range. Uh, if he decides to really um, pour on the power, he can outrun me. If he's fully upgraded and he's got the relevant modules and captain skills, he can hit somewhere around 32 knots. The best I'm going to get is about 23 knots, 24 knots. So, if he turns south right now and ran down the white line at full power, he would very quickly get the east-west line and start pulling away from me. And there's not a thing I can do about it. Possibly launching the spotter plane would give me those few extra kilometers range to maybe get an extra salvo or two at him. But I'd be firing with just the two forward turrets. And the chances of sinking him at these extreme ranges with just two turrets is very, very slim. Now he looked as if he was turning north instead of south, which was a foolish move by him. As I've explained, if he'd gone south and hit full steam, he could have outrun me. Because he has got the same speed as most cruisers. But he hasn't. He has definitely turned north. And he's showing me his broadside. If I just get a couple of shells to land on him, I might be able to cripple him. Oh, that was so close on his transom. A good hit there could have knocked out his engines or his steering that will let me close the range very, very quickly. But he must be firing HE because he put a fire on me. However, because it's battleship guns, I've put the fire out using the uh, damage repair Problem part, the damage control party. And, oh goody, he's making a run in at me. Now, what I can do here is I can come in, angled as I am, any shots that don't hit me on the deck or in the superstructure are going to bounce off the sides with as close to zero damage as you can imagine. And I can come in firing three turrets at him, which I think he thinks then I don't have the angle of fire. All it would take is a little jink like I'm doing now, and I can get the other three turrets in. And what that will 
allow me to do is, while he can only fire four shells at me, I can fire all twelve at him, but in two batches. So, if we both fired at the same time our forward turrets, while he's in the middle of reloading, I can then get my aftermost turrets at him just like that, and down he goes. So, now, let's do something about that western cap. Because looking at the points, at the moment, the enemy's in the lead. We need to stop them collecting points, and yet, yeah, teammates have spotted it. Told me to go for it, which I was already starting to do. And I've acknowledged that. Now, at this point, looking at the, the uh, remaining fleets, they've got a battleship and a destroyer. We've got a battleship and a cruiser. However, we don't, at this point in time, I don't know where their two ships are, where the enemy two ships are. Although, yeah, there's one of them just popped up in the southeast. I've got no idea where their destroyer is because I wasn't watching the minibat. I was focused on the Congo. So I'm making all best speed to get into this cap capture it which will give us all four caps and hopefully we can then rapidly overtake their points total and go for the victory that way and as soon as that's secure I can start trying to do something against that nicer now and it is a tier 7 but he's only got half the number of guns that I've got remember the nicer now only has three turrets two forward one aft with two guns each Whereas I've got six turrets with two guns each. That does involve a little bit of risk. I'm going to have to show him my broadside to have all six turrets bearable on him. With a little bit of clever angling, I might be able to um, reduce the risk a wee bit. But he's now recovering that cap point. Our cruiser has skedaddled out of there quite wisely. He doesn't want to be fighting a nicer now. Just takes one shell to sink him. And some fire exchanging there, which is dangerous. I wish that cruiser had stayed hidden rather than engaging him. Because he could have come and taken over this cap from me. But I've got a full broadside out on the nicer now. And we've got a couple of bounces, which is a shame. However, it will have woken up the... Uh, German battleship player to the fact that I'm coming in and I'm entering the fray. Now looking at it I've got about three times his hit points and I can survive taking some significant hits as long as I'm not getting citadeled. So there's another salvo out and he's managed to dodge all of those didn't even get the pleasure of some bounces on him. And looking at my damage so far, I'm just under 88,000, which is respectable. But I do like to try and get it into three figures. So, what's this nice now doing? He's swinging to the port. Is he going to hold that or swing back? Let's just spray that area because my reload is about seven or eight seconds faster than his. So he's thrown out four shells at me. Took a little bit off me, about the same as I took off him. I did stop his cap progress though, which was what I was primarily after. And got a full salvo out at him, and he's turning to avoid it. That they're all going to miss, I would guess. Yeah. Oh, ouch. He just took off about a third of my remaining health there. It wasn't a citadel, which was fortunate. So he's just fired off his stern turret. And ouch, again. Accuracy of that thing. There's a salvo away to him. Can I reset his cap? Yes, I've reset his cap again. Two decent penetrating hits, took him right down, and just at that point, it looks like we achieved enough cap points to win the battle. 
so ended up with just over 90,000 damage and two sinkings. That's good. So with this camping out the enemy and me finishing with just over 90,000 damage done, I got 249,000 credits and 4,100 experience from that. Hope you liked it. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. Please give the video a like. I hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching.